Hi, I've got a super gun. It's arrived yesterday and it's from a, a member of the Schmups Forum called RGB. Uh, he's from Poland um, and he makes these. Um, I have got a couple of PCBs uh, to play on it and I'll be showing you those in a minute and um, I'll get a bit of gameplay footage up. Okay, so quick, um, quick overview of what this does. So this is a super gun. Super guns uh, take um, signal from an arcade jammer board or PCB uh, via this jammer harness, which is a standard um, wired harness uh, which takes both audio, video, um, uh, controller inputs, uh, power, things like that. Um, so between the board and the um, super gun is the controls that allow, allow this to output video image to television and allow you to plug controller ports, uh, control pads into the front. Um, this particular super gun um, is extremely well built actually. It's got a built-in scalar and scanline generator which outputs a VGA image. Uh, it's got settings for the scanline on or off, scanline width. It also outputs via um, RGB SCART. Uh, that's the um, mini DIN socket. Um, RGB SCART includes uh, mono audio. Uh, if you have an, uh, an arcade board like a CPS2 board that has a stereo output, you can get the audio to go into that via that and out again via that um, or via the SCART lead. Uh, that's, a CP, that's a kick harness for buttons 5 and 6 um, like that and it connects to the jammer connection the other end like that. Um, right, this is the real clincher for me this bit. Those are Sega Saturn control pads uh, inputs as you know, I've got a Sega Saturn Virtua Stick Pro, which means that this is a no-brainer, really, because I've got a control panel, arcade control panel, plugged straight in. I really would say that the, the Astro City um, control panel joystick for the Sega Saturn has been a really good investment. And I know it's expensive and the shipping's a killer, but I tell you what, I've got so much enjoyment out of this joystick. It's, it's taken the enjoyment of all of my games up to a new level. Those uh, buttons there relate to the uh, scaler and uh, that's a brightness and a volume control. Coin button there and a service button there. Um, fantastic build quality. I mean, you've got to hand it to this guy. That is just awesome. So um, this is the first time I've, I haven't used it yet. So um, let's, see, let's see what it does. Right, this is my first ever PCB. It was very kindly donated by Alex Gameroom. Uh, a, an incredible gesture of kindness, Alex, and um, I'm really, really grateful. Uh, I've not played it yet, um, but I have installed a Ghetto PCB protecting cover. Uh, this is thanks to Luke Morse, who put up a video recently with uh, his kind of version of a, a PCB case. Left a little space there for the dip switches, We've got the um, jammer harness in the back of the super gun. We then take the other end of the super gun jammer harness. We will hear crunching sounds as the circuit board accommodates the grip. And there, you have a very nice little setup. To me, that, that is the kind of first time I've connected a PCB. Looking at those little two units together, just like that, for me, that's as sexy as a PC Engine CD-ROM briefcase setup. Right, I've connected up the jammer harness to the um, super gun and I used a couple of old curtain uh, rod thingies to give it a bit of air and it's going to go in this little um, cubby hole next to the TV. I've got the Bang & Olufsen there ready to go for take action. Um, again, you know, the Bang & is an amazing TV set. It's so thin that you can fit it just about anywhere in your gaming setup and uh, it takes just like an absolute dream. So this is the Super Gun powered up with Taito's Twin Eagle, Revenge Joe's brother. Some bizarre concoction of those words. There's a two player helicopter vertical shoot em up 
and it features some really nice digitised uh, music stored on the sound chips. Um, really nice game, uh, it's very very kind of Alex Game Room to give it to me as my first PCB. I've been as for the Super Gun itself, um, he calls it the home arcade system which I like, uh, it's very kind of retro, straight to the point, no brand names, no XRGB kind of uh, wankery, it just tells, tells, does what it says on the tin. So um, the instruction manual comes uh, in hard copy also online. Uh, very nicely put together instruction manual. Well this ain't going to happen every bloody day but I've set it up on uh, my TFT monitor which uh, is a sharp I think and um, this is through the inbuilt scaler and scanline generator so this is 640 by 480 oh, you're seeing exactly the same attract mode they're nice scan lines um, you know I'm used to this what this scaler looks like because I've used it on my Saturn and PlayStation 2 so I wasn't expecting it to be as um, you know pin sharp and nice as an RGB image but it's still pretty good actually there is quite a funny function here if I turn the scan lines first of all scan lines on and scan lines off he does it with one hand um, clearly you know you don't really want it with scan lines off so scan lines on and also thin scan lines really thick scan lines Get some of them, motherfuckers! Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go back to thin scan lines. So this is in the way around this, uh, 1024 by 768, and this resolution is is actually the best for kind of obviously the on-screen display, but it it's, it works quite well with um, uh, an image without scan lines. Um, you you actually get a really nice sharp um, monitor, you know. TFT monitor style images. So while I'm on the subject of scalers and all that kind of stuff, um, with the um, RGB super gun there with a built-in scaler and scanline converter, this is the um, CGA VGA scaler. Um, so that's that and those four buttons there. So you can just about catch them there. Those are the four buttons. He's reset them, which is uh, really really nice and also. It's got inbuilt power at 5 volts and that thing there just controls the power. Occasionally you'll need an external PSU which he's supplied if the PCB is particularly hungry. So I thought I'd reserve a little bit of space at the end of this video to make it all come together. To put into the Super Gun a game that was always designed to be played in the arcade and never received a home port. A game synonymous with quality, with amazing graphics, and with the collector's rare anal OCD community. The game is Rising's on Police Batrider. And as Paddy McGuinness would say, let the hand see the shandy. Okay, this is Batrider Korean version. Um, comes with all of the um, Rising players unlocked. And you can select a team of players to use in your game. I've selected the boss rush mode. Uh, there's quite a few game modes in this and they are, like I say, mostly unlocked in the Korean version. Blind in shooting game and the speed is just incredible. It moves superbly and, um, I don't know, I guess for a kind of shooting game enthusiast like myself, it probably doesn't get a lot better. Um, And I still really love playing with Saturn shooters. You know, when I first got the Super Gun, um, I had a bit of a problem with the video output, but it was just a question of not having read the instructions properly. Um, so in the time that I'd given up on the Super Gun, uh, waiting for people to reply to me, I put in the Sega Saturn and played Sonic Wings, and uh, really enjoyed it. Absolutely loved it. So this isn't the end of console gaming. For me, this is just uh, another additional um, system to own uh, for those amazing games that sadly never got a home port. I think the Sega Saturn could have handled this um, kind of game personally. It might have had a bit of slowdown, but I, uh, it's, I think it's a crying shame that they didn't 
convert all of these amazing rising games for a home release. Thanks for watching.